physiology of pregnancy introduction during pregnancy there is progressive anatomical physiological and biochemical changes occurring in genital organs as well as in all systems of body there is phenomenon of maternal adaptations to increasing demands of growing fetus changes occur in following areas genital organs uterus breast cutaneous tissue weight body water metabolism hematological system cardiovascular system metabolism other systems genital organs vulva becomes hypertrophied edematous and more vascular jacumer's sign bluish discoloration of skin due increased blood supply of venous plexus secretions becoming copious thin and curdy white ph becomes acidic 3.5 to 6 uterus there is enormous growth of uterus growth occurs more towards the fundus non pregnant uterus weighs 60 g measures 7 cm pregnant uterus weighs 900 to 1000 g measures 35 cm enlargement of uterus is affected by following factors changes in muscles hypertrophy and hyperalgesia hyperplasia stretching arrangement of muscle fibers outer longitudinal inner circular intermediate vascular system there is marked spiraling of arteries reaching max at 20 weeks later straighten out uterine artery diameter becomes double and blood flow increases up to 8 folds vasodilation mainly occurs due to progesterone and estradiol vein becomes dilated and valveless shape shape in early months piriform 12 weeks globular 28 weeks piriform 36 weeks spherical position 8 weeks normal antiverted position enlarged uterus uterus lies on bladder rendering incapable filling and causes frequent micturition later becomes erect lateral obliquity enlarged uterus undergoes lateral rotation on right side knowing known as dextro rotation as result cervix deviates to left side known as levo rotation contraction braxton hicks these are infrequent irregular and painless contraction in early months of pregnancy felt during bimanual palpation where uterus feels firmer at one moment and softer at isthmus first trimester hypertrophies elongates and softer 12 weeks progressively unfolds from above downwards until it is incorporated into the uterine cavity cervix stroma hyperplasia of the elastic and connective tissue fluid accumulation in fibers vascularity is increased this causes marked softening of cervix epithelium marked proliferation if endocervical mucosa fallopian tube tube becomes congested and muscles undergo hypertrophy ovaries growth and function of corpus luteum reaches peaks at 8 to 8 and measures about 2.5 cm and become cyst breast size increases in size due to proliferation and hypertrophy of ducts and alveoli increased vascularity nipples and areoli nipples become larger erectile and deeply pigmented sebaceous glands become hypertrophied and are known as montgomery's tubercle secretion colostrum can be squeezed out of breast at 12th weeks which at first is sticky and later at 16th week become yellow and thick important sign of pregnancy cutaneous changes face cleosma gravidum pregnancy mask extreme form of pigmentation around eyes abdomen linea nigra brownish black pigmented area midline forms zephy sternum to pubic symphysis due to melanocyte stimulating hormone striae gravidarum stretch marks weight weight gain occurs throughout pregnancy in early weeks patient may lose weight due to vomiting and nausea total weight gain is up to 11 kgs body water metabolism the amount of water retained at the end of term is up to 6.5 liter pregnancy is a state of hypervolemia 
there is active retention of sodium due to increased estrogen and progesterone ras increased diuretic hormone increased in water intake due to lowered osmotic threshold for first for thirst cause polyuria in early pregnancy hematological changes blood volume is markedly raised during pregnancy plasma volume increases by 6th week and plateaus by 30th week rbc and hemoglobin rbc mass is raised at 20 to 30 percent increase begin at 10th and raise till term the disproportionate increase in plasma and rbc produce hemodilution during pregnancy advantages of hemodilution diminished blood viscosity ensure optimum gases exchange between fetal and maternal circulation protects women against adverse effects of supine and erect posture protect mother against blood during pregnancy leukocytes and immune system neutrophilic leukocytosis occurs up to 8000 mm cube and 20000 uh, millimeter cube in delivery total protein increase from normal 180 gram to 230 gram blood coagulation factors pregnancy is hup hypercoagulable state fibrinogen level is raised to 50 percent from 200 to 400 gram per deciliter to 300 to 600 gram per deciliter plasma levels of clotting factors 7 8 9 10 are raised level of 2 5 and 12 are unchanged or mild raised 11th and 13th are mild decreased cardiovascular system anatomical changes elevation of diaphragm causes pushing of heart upward and up outward cardiac output increases from fifth week and reaches its peak at 30 to 40th 34th week increases further during labor 50 percent and immediately after delivery 70 percent co-increase due to increased blood volume cardiac output increase due to increased blood volume to meet excess oxygen demand blood pressure systemic vascular resistance is decreased due to smooth muscle relaxation as the effect of progesterone nitric oxide prostaglandins therefore decreasing in bp venous pressure femoral venous pressure is markedly increased due to pressure exerted by gravid uterus on common iliac vein more on right due to dextro rotation of the uterus supine hypertension syndrome postural hypertension uterus compresses the ivc in supine opening up the collateral circulation by the means of paravertebral and azygous vein in some cases this failed to occur and venous return to the heart seriously decreases and leads to hypertension tachycardia and syncope quickly resolved by taking the patient into sideline regional distribution of blood the cardiac output to uterus is increased from 2% to 15% increase is due to fetoplacental and uteroplacental vasodilation pulmonary blood flow is increased by 2500 ml per minute renal blood flow increases by 400 ml per minute heat sensation sweating or stuffy nose complained by pregnant women can be explained by increased blood flow metabolism total metabolism is increased due to need of the growing fetus protein met pregnancy is anabolic state amino acids are actively transported across the placenta to the fetus carbohydrate met transfer of increased amount of glucose from mother to fetus is needed throughout the pregnancy sensitivity of insulin receptors decreases causing increased plasma insulin level this ensure continuous supply of glucose to fetus favors lipogenesis fat storage fat metabolism 3 to 4 kgs of fat is stored during pregnancy mostly in abdominal wall breasts hips and thighs lipid metabolism hdl level increases by 15 percent ldl level is utilized for placental steroid synthesis this hyperlipidemia is the hyperlipidemia in pregnancy is not atherogenic iron metabolism iron is absorbed from gi tract and actively transported across placenta to the fetus total iron, requi iron requirement during pregnancy is approx 1000 mg iron requirement in pregnancy is 6 to 7 mg per day other systemic changes respiratory system 
with the enlargement of uterus there is elevation of diaphragm by 4 cm total lung capacity is reduced by 5% due to this elevation transverse diameter of the chest expands by 2 cm hyperventilation occurs during pregnancy leading to increased tidal volume it is due to progesterone acting on respiratory center and women feel shortness of breath hyperventilation causes changes in acid base balance arterial paco2 falls and pao2 rises these facilitates transfer of co2 from fetus to mother and o2 from mother to fetus the ph rises and there is base excess of 2 mill, uh, milli equivalent per liter thus pregnancy is a state of respiratory alkalosis maternal o2 reserve reduced due to increased oxygen consumption and reduced functional residual capacity makes women more susceptible to effects of apnea urinary system kidney renal plasma flow is increased by 50 to 75 percent gfr is increased by 50 percent ureter becomes atonic due to high progesterone level bladder increased frequency of maturation in later weeks due to pressure on bladder elementary system gums become congested and spongy muscle tone and motility of gi tract are diminished due to high progesterone gall bladder and liver mild cholestasis due to oestrogen and atonicity of gall bladder due to progesterone with high blood cholesterol level favors stone formation calcium metabolism and skeletal system there is increased demand of calcium during pregnancy 1 to 1.5 gm per day gram per day calcium absorption from intestine and kidney is doubled calcitonin levels are increased with which protects increased mobility of pelvic joints due to softening of ligaments and increased lumbar lordosis in later months of pregnancy produces backache and waddling gait